by the 13th century, the Tuscan dialect became the standard language of literature. After the fall of the Hohenstaufen at the Battle of Benevento in 1266, Tuscany became the first province of Italy. From 1266, Florence spawned political reform which spread democratic governments to surrounding city-states. Tuscan love poetry was delivered in a comical and satirical style which challenged former medieval romantic literary styles. Giuttone d'Arezzo produced political poetry which influenced Bologna. Guido Guinzelli developed a new style with concepts of true love and disregard of, of class structures. Allegorical poems appeared in the 13th century. Brunetto Ladini, a friend of Dante, wrote Desoretto, where the author is lost in a wilderness and meets a lady who instructs him. This composition of vision, allegory and instruction were to be repeated by Dante in the Divine Comedy. In the 13th century, Italian prose was written in French rather than Italian and it very much reflected French literature. In 1267, Martino da Canale wrote a history of Venice written in French language. Rusticiano of Pisa attended the court of Edward I of England and produced Arthurian romances. The oldest prose work relates to science. Composizione del Mondo by Ristoro d'Arezzo was written in the mid-13th century about astronomy and geography. The Cento Novelle Antiche is a group of stories sourced from around the globe, historical works, religion and mythology. A new form of literature emerged in 1282 and this was Tuscan lyric poetry. This revolved around expressing the feelings of the soul and how love inspires the writer. Love is seen as a divine gift and the poet's muse is sent from heaven to guide the author to paradise or to a higher spiritual dimension. Dante Alighieri, perhaps the greatest of Italian poets, wrote La Vita Nuova, New Life, and this was to reflect the consequence of his first meeting with Beatrice, who redefined how he viewed his life and where in the future he will follow the concept of love above everything else. Dante's poems and they included an idealised version of the real-life Beatrice as an almost divine figure. Dante remains the main character, the narrator. However, it's fair to say there is a liberal amount of poetic licence in his work. The Divine Comedy recalls the poet's travels through hell, purgatory and paradise guided first by the Latin poet Virgil and in the latter stages by Beatrice. There is allegory as Dante reflects on his life, his flaws and how he aspires to eternal happiness. Beatrice is seen as a mystical creature by which a mortal person like Dante can aspire to paradise. This converts poetry into a more romantic form. Dante is noted for his poetry, but here he has combined theology, philosophy, history and mythology and infused his own passions, bias and convictions. In his work, the dead speak of their passions and their feelings also. Dante presents history and key characters from his own perspective and bias. 
the divine comedy defined Italian literature for future generations. Petrarch was both a humanist and a poet. He lived in Avignon, France, nursing grievances against the corrupt court of the Pope. He was widely known around Europe, corresponding with powerful figures, and was recognised as the most esteemed writer of his era. Petrarch's lyrical verse evolved from earlier troubadours and poets, and he wrote in both French and Italian. Petrarch focuses on psychology and analyses feelings, but unlike Dante, focuses on the human experience. He wrote of a love of Italy, of the former glories of Rome, Cicero and Scipio. In the future, this approach would be described as Renaissance humanism. The work of Petrarch embodies two key concepts. Classical research. Petrarch did review the works of late Latin writers and secondly a deep human feeling in his lyrical poetry. He loved a woman called Laura in life and in death through his poetry. Canzonieri, his famous work, focuses on love. The first contained poems written during Laura's lifetime. The second, the poems written after her death in a very passionate language. The canzonieri, like Dante, also refers to politics. But Petrarch was less set with his political views than Dante. Giovanni Boccaccio shared Petrarch's being in awe of past glories and the classic era. He produced a Latin translation of the Iliad and the Odyssey in 1375. His poetry relates to the gods, mythology such as Troilus and Cressida, and romance. The Philocopo is an early prose romance detailing the loves of Floria and Bianca Fiore. Fiammetta is a romance about the loves of Boccaccia and Maria d'Aquino, whose nickname was Fiammetta. Boccaccia's most famous work was the Decameron, a collection of stories by a party of men and women who escaped the plague in 1348 and tell stories near Florence. This would influence Chaucer's Canterbury Tales in the future. Here, Boccaccio describes the character and the passions of the actors in his work. Petrarch and Boccaccio were close friends, despite being very different characters. Petrarch had quite a negative view of Dante, whereas Boccaccio was very, very positive towards him. In the 15th century, Aldus Manutius published works by Tuscan poets Petrarch and Dante, and this was to form the basis of modern Italian. Renaissance humanism was common in the 15th century as a reaction to the medieval scholars that had passed before. This humanism movement was focused around Florence and Naples. Humanists tried to speak and write clearly and eloquently they focused on subjects such as grammar, history, poetry and philosophy. Notable humanists included Petrarch, Coluccio Saludati and Leonardo Bruni and these collected old works and were often employed by the church. By the mid 15th century, upper middle class Italian families were receiving humanist educations. There were even five 15th century humanist popes. Florentine humanists conversed in Greek, Latin and basic Italian, studying Dante and Petrarch. Lorenzo de Medici projected the influence of Florence, dwelling on former glories, expanding his library and had a key interest in sculpture, art and gems. De Medici was an admirer of the classical world. 
including the works of Dante. Canto Carnascialesco was a new form of poetry, songs really, which were performed during the carnival period. Leonardo da Vinci was an architect, poet, painter, engineer and mathematician. He was the embodiment of the thirst for knowledge of the Renaissance in the 16th century. Albertino Musato of Padova wrote the historical tale of the Holy Roman Emperor Henry VII and his struggles with the Pope. The development of drama works evolved in the 15th century in Florence. This revolved around special occasions and patron saints, for example, St John the Baptist. <laughs> 